indirect tax mcqs part 3 okay so today we are going to do gst registrations form numbers and their purpose okay so this will help you in the mcq because most of the time uh, two three mcqs are there in the paper which are regarding to the registration okay so we'll start with the first uh, first one is gst registration 01 this is the application for gst registration this is the what application for gst registration then form number two registration form number two it is for acknowledgement for registration acknowledgement for registration okay register 05 is for uh, even for the casual person also if he want to get registered himself in gst even same registration form he will be uh, using there is no separate form for casual person so registration 01 is for application of registration gst registration 02 for acknowledgement for registration gst Registration number 03 is for notice asking for additional information, clarification, documents relating to application for registration, amendment, cancellation. For this, we have a GST registration form number 3. Then, GST registration 04. Now, 04 is for application for providing clarification, additional information, document for registration. All these are for GST registration. Z, uh, zero 04 so application for providing clarification additional information document of uh, document uh, documents of registration all these are there in the registration 04 then gst registration 05 this is for order of rejection of application for registration amendment and cancellation so 05 is for order for rejection of application for registration amendment and cancellation then 06 is for registration certificate. So form number 06 is for registration certificate. Then 07, it is application for registration a tax deductor at source on tax collector at source. Okay, so this is application for registration at tax deductor uh, at source or tax collector at source. It is in 0. Seven. Then we have registration number 08. This is for order of cancellation of registration as tax deductor at source or tax collector at source. Okay, so in 07 we have application for registration for uh, tax deductor at source and tax collector and 08 we have order of, of cancellation of registration as tax deductor at source and tax collector at source. Then register number 09, application for registration of non-resident taxable person. This is very, very important. Most of the time, this uh, GST registration 09 MCQs are asked. So, this is very important. So, register 09 is for application for registration for no, of non-residable taxable person. Okay, this is for an NRA, you know, those who are, are taxable persons. For them, this uh, registration form is there, uh, registration 05. 09 sorry so register 09 application for registration of non-resident taxable person then we have registration 10 that is application for registration of person supplying online information and database access or retrieval services from a place outside india to a person in india other than a registered person okay so gst registration 10 is for application for registration of person Supplying online information and data mesh access or retrieval services from a place outside India to a person in India other than a registered person. Then we have GST registration 11. This is application for extension of registration period by casual non residable taxable person. Okay, so GST registration 11 is for application for extension of registration period by casual or non-resident taxable person. Then GST registration 12, order of grant of temporary registration, so motor registration. Okay, so this is for what? GST registration 12 is for 
here uh, su uh, suomoto registration means when the uh, official uh, when official in can enforce gst registration if individual fail to do so okay but this is a temporary uh, types of registration the individual must make a formal application for registered to obtain a gst certificate okay so uh, suomoto is nothing but a uh, officials means the tax officer and all can enforce gst registration if the individual fails to do so okay so it is under the form number uh, registration form number 12 the order for grant of temporary registration or you can call it as a sumo or motor registration then we have gst registration number 13 so application for a form of grant of unique identification number to un bodies embassies others okay all these are in the registration number 13 then we have gst registration 40 so application for amendment in registration particularly for all type of registration person okay so application for amendment in registration particulars okay so registration particular amendment in particular is in the registration 40 registration 15 order 2 of amendment okay registration 15 is for order of amendment then we have gst registration number 16 that is application for cancellation of registration okay so if someone want to cancel their gst number if someone stop their doing business or online business has been stopped then they have or their turnover is not more than 20 lakh then in this case they want to cancel their registration and uh, for that they have to issue gst registration form number 60 then gst registration 70 show cost notice for cancellation of registration okay so you have to show, show the causes why you are cancelling your gst n number so uh, this is done in the form number 17 then we have registration form number 18 this is reply to show cost notice issued for cancellation okay so this is what reply of the cancellation of registration notice then we have registration uh, 19 so order for cancellation of registration okay so here in you get a formal uh, order for a cancellation of registration that is registration number 19 then we have gst registration number 20 that is order for dropping the proceeding for cancellation of registration okay so in gst registration number 20 we have order for dropping the proceeding for uh, proceeding for cancellation of registration so in 20 gst number you can you drop your um, dropping the procedure for cancellation of uh, registration then in the next we have gst registration 21 this is application for revoc revocation of cancellation of registration revocation means what so because due to the if you have not filed your return or due to some cause your registration has been cancelled cancelled or suspended by the Uh, tax officers then you have to revoke it okay so your registration has been cancelled and then you want your registration number back and for that you get a uh, form that is called a revocation of cancellation of registration or this is a procedure we ha you have to follow to uh, just again start with your registration number so in form number uh, gst registration 21 application for revocation of cancellation of registration this is also one of the important question which is asked in the mcqs form so for revoc revocations of cancellation of registration you have registration 21 then you have registration 22 order for revocation of cancellation of registration okay so in form number 22 you have what order for revocation of cancellation of registration then the gst registration 23 show cause notice for rejection of application for revocation of cancellation of registration okay so in form number 23 you will get all the notice for rejection of application for revocation of cancellation of registration then gst registration 24 24 that is reply to the notice for rejection of application for revocation of cancellation of registration reply to the notice of rejection for application for revocation of cancellation of registration then gst registration number 25 certificate of provisional registration okay so gst registration 25 is for cancellation of provision registration okay so 25 is for certificate of provisional registration then 26 it is application for enrollment of existing tax player okay so for gst registration 
26 is application for enrollment of existing tax player. Then we have register number 27 for our GST is then 27 that is show cause notice for cancellation of provision of return. Okay, so for cancellation uh, showcase notice for ca uh, provisional registration we have a registration 07. Then GST registration form number 28. Order of cancellation for provisional registration. Okay, so 28 for cancellation for provisional registration. Then GST registration 29. Application for cancellation of provisional registration. Okay, this is for application for cancellation of uh, provisional registration. Then registration number 30. That is form to fill visit report. Okay, so registration 30 is form for filled visit report. Then in next we have uh, regarding the online uh, electronic ledger payment forms. Okay, so this is apply for the electronic ledger payment form. So form GST PMT01. Okay, PMT01 is for electronic liability registration uh, registered for registered person. Part 1 written related liabilities electronic liability registered of taxable person. Part 2 is other than written related liabilities. Okay, so form GST PMT01 is for electronic liability registered of registered person. In that part 1 is written related to liability, electronic liability register of taxable person. Part 2 other than written related liabilities. Then we have form GST PMT02 that is electronic credit ledger. We have what electronic credit ledger. Form GST PMT02 is for electronic credit ledger. Then we have form GST PTM03 ordered for recredit of the amount to cash or credit ledger. Order to recredit of the amount to cash or credit ledger. Then we have form GST PTM04 that is application on for intimation of discrepancy in electronic credit ledger cash ledger liability registration okay so that if any if there is any discrepancy different in electronic credit ledger cash ledger liability register gst pmt 04 form is there okay then form gst pmt 05 that is electronic cash ledger 05 is what electronic cash ledger this is also important um, from mcqs or your competitive exam point of view that form gst pmt 05 is for electronic cash ledger then form gst pmt 06 is for chalan for deposit of good and service tax Form GST PMT 06 is for Chalan for Deposit of Goods and Service Tax. Then Form GST PMT 07 is application for intimating discrepancy in making payment. Form GST PMT 07 is application for intimating discrepancy in making payment. Then we have Form GST PMT 08. Form for declaring self-assessed tax liability to claim ITC. Then form GST PMT 08. Form for declaring self-assessed tax liability to claim ITC. Then we have form GST PMT 09. That is form to reallocate balance available in electronic cash ledger to major minor head. Okay, so form GST PMT. T09 is form of reallocate balance available in electronic cash ledger to major minor head. Okay, so this is all for about the electronic ledger payment form. Okay, so total nine and nine are there. So you have to remember this. Okay, so these are the some of the important registration form of GST related which um, MCQs has been asked in the exam. So just uh, uh, study this so it will be easy if some secures as been as you can will be able to answer it okay, for uh, more MCQs, please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon for the next part thank you